gone wild. And Boosie gone bad. Hey, man, she like a... I'm scared, Boosie. I'm no. scared. What? He got your girl, Brittany Loso, out here with these women. We trying to pick the number, the baddie of the year. Boosie gone, gone bad. bad. Everybody want to make it wild, though, but Boosie gone bad. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. You, I, I remember the project you did. Boosie, what, Gone Wild? And Boosie Gone Bad. Hey, man, she like a, I'm scared, Boosie. I'm no. scared. What? He got your girl, Brittany Loso, out here with these women. We trying to pick the number, the baddie of the year. Gone, gone bad. bad. Everybody want to make it wild, though, but Boosie Gone Bad. Now, now I want to talk about that because last time, I didn't get to talk to you after that event, but I remember going into it. I talked to you all the way up until the day of. Look at this front door. I'm just ready to get up in here. Hey, y'all. Right. But just uh, give me an understanding of what goes into doing something, you know, on that level. To, because there was lights everywhere. It it was so it was so lively. You seen it, right? Oh, the the way that it was the room was lit uh the way that the people were being captured the way that the cameras was shifting from place to place just give me a rundown on what it takes to build something up like that i mean like i told uh, uh boosie that it was a million dollar house party i mean all mm. bullshit aside you know, we went in and executive produced that with him. He was going through the stuff with Mark Zuckerberg getting shut down. They happened to come through my studio. I was like, hey, we can set up a whole situation, pay-per-view, you know, uncensored, uncut, Boosie gone bad. And then, you know, we put a team together, got things signed contracts. And then as the creative team was together, you know, y'all been out to the studio where we had the like 15 foot whiteboard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, we'd have that thing full. Full. Yeah. You know, yeah. and then this thing was like, someone said Boosie Baddies, and it was just like, what? That's it. You know, wow. and so we, we, and we ended up launching that last minute it, midstream. Okay. You know, really? and then, yeah, that wasn't even part of the this, this situation. Because wow. you're, you love to plan ahead of time. You will sit down and plan way ahead of time. Right. So to have something just come in like that, that's, that's different. Nah, for you. It, it, it tweaked me a little bit, but it was like the idea was like, yo, you can't move you forward. Can't, right. Like we got to figure this out. Like this is, this wasn't thought about. This is mm. such a brilliant idea. We got to push forward with it. You know, with that said, you know, it just gets into a situation where people don't understand how big this is unless you paid that 1999 and let me tell you if y'all didn't pay the 1999 you missed out because that mm -hmm. was one hell of a and you've never done nothing did. like that before uh we doubt you know we started messing with that like uh with erica you know right. when we did the apocalypse because we what people don't understand we were producing live production way before COVID happened yeah right. so then when COVID happened people were like oh okay now we understand what y'all been trying to do this past four yeah, or five years yeah right so it was other things that we had had opportunities that came up that we played around with, but going into doing a, um, it was like a game show. Cause now you got the Boosie baddies. You're going to have the Boosie baddie crowned mm -hmm. Boosie baddie Atlanta from Boosie. Yeah. You know, so there was, there was a competition that they had to go through to win the Boosie baddie. Mm -hmm. Correct. You know what I mean? But I, I, and I get it. Cause I watched it. I did pay my 1999 <laughs> and I sit down in the back where my wife had it set up where right. I could be in the backyard. And I sit there and I watched and I, cause it was free up until a point. It mm -hmm. did. Right, it, it right, gave right. a lot of weight right, too. Right, it right, was a yeah. lot being given away. So I was so sitting there. We were, looking, that. we were looking at that concept, like uh, an MMA, a fight or whatever yeah Billy. They'll, they'll be on there all day talking about the damn fight over and over and over again and you're sitting there watching this shit all day long before the fight actually happens correct and all that's free but what they're doing is they're doing self-promotion during that's the right. process so what we wanted to try to do is get it out there to to the people to his super fans to show them the quality right that this this is going to be a real real quality production for the 1999 and try to educate them and show them and then boom at you know whatever time it was cut them off and now now it's you know if you haven't paid the 1999 you ain't seen shit from here on out correct mm -hmm. and I, I remember it was getting a little dark outside on the back patio 
And I was sitting out there. I said, man, I guess I better move it on in. So mm -hmm. I moved it on in. Right. That's when I had to pay. But I it was remember. cool, man. <laughs> we, we had a full, full blown production team from Dallas. There was, you know, it was all Dallas. Well, I, I the heard choreographed about, dancers. About How many people? Oh. Prophecy film there. Uh, yep. That's Prophecy my boy, was out man. There. Shout out, yep, Prophecy. Yeah, KV. Yeah, yeah. How many KV, people shout did it out. take to put something like this together? That right there was around 20. It was a crew of 25 people to pull that production live broadcasted it was like boosie broke into channel four news and figured out how to run all the broadcast equipment mm -hmm. wow you know what i mean so it's it was like high quality production but ratchet 1000 <laughs> and if anybody want to see it right now they can go find it uh no we have it off now i mean it's this you know it's done like if you didn't pay the 1999 that's 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 it Okay, I wasn't yeah. sure if they can still go pay twenty five dollars no, and go watch you, you it. You probably right. can still watch it though, right? No, no that's what he said. No, so they took it's it not, down. They took no, because I mean that gets into the technical stuff of things. But when you shoot something and you do an agreement with an artist like this, you can do it through that period of time. But then once that deal becomes video on demand, now you're talking getting the labels and sync licensing, right? And oh, all okay. these additional costs that incur into leaving it up. Yeah, oh, if that okay. makes sense. So, like, yeah, if, you, if you look at the movies that he's dropping right now, mm -hmm. it's all original content, right? So now he doesn't have to deal with the labels. It's it's mm -hmm. his music, right? It's smart. It's smart. I, I well, when you guys, okay, you guys did it. Y'all did auditions here. Yeah, I remember the, the build up. Um, how e how easy was it maneuvering Boosie from here to there, from room to room? Dealing with uh, the setup with uh, Brittany uh, Loso and, uh, and Space, Space Boy. Boy, right? Like, how was it getting them organized to even be able to situate them in the places you needed them to be? Because you had to direct this thing as well, right? Right, right. Now we, yeah, directed, produced, executive produced. Correct. You know, so, so what what happened on that? Boosie was in, right? So he was like a kid in a candy shop, and so. I'll tell you a quick story. I was like, hey, Boosie, we got to move some things around the house and everything. He's like, man, I already told you, move whatever you need to move. Like, why you keep talking to me? <laughs> and I'm like, okay. So <laughs> he takes off, right? Well, they take off for like eight hours, and I have like four 26-foot box trucks pull up while he's gone, right? Yeah. And we, man, his whole bottom floor got moved down to the basement. Mm -hmm. I'm talking the piano, the dining room table, the sofa. Everything. Like everything. I said, fuck it. He said, what you know, when he came back, back what he said. So that's what I was worried because he kept saying, man, don't talk to her. He told you, you, you family, like you do whatever you need to do. So when he came back, I was sort of off to the side. He didn't see me. And I said, two things are going to happen. Where's my whiteboard goddamn director? <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, he going to get on IG or some shit. And yeah. that's what happened. He was like, he's like, IG live, boost got bad, boost got oh, bad. In. This is how motherfuckers a million dollar house party. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so like, he fed he, 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 he right into yeah, it. Yeah, so when he got offline and shit, he was like, man, white boy, you don't did your thing in here. Goddamn. <laughs> which, man. You know, if you go back and look at the footage, it looks like goddamn something that was shot in L.A. You oh. would never think that that was shot in his house in his, you know, 22,000 square foot of state. Oh, man, I seen it, man. It was like, it was live, man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.